The event was Route 91. It was a big country music festival in Las Vegas. And it was actually pretty special to my wife and I because two years prior we had gone to the same festival and that was what basically sparked our relationship in the first place. After going to that, uh, we just had such an amazing time. It was one of my best friends from college and some of his friends. There were about seven of us that like, we had never really met before that weekend. And by the end of the weekend, we were all best friends. Uh, it had become clear there was some chemistry between Justine and I. And so that kind of hit things off for us. Uh, we started dating. So the second time we were now going, it was 2017 and we were getting most of the same crew back together. We were so excited to be going because we had such a great time uh, last time. And at that time, Justine and I were engaged and it was just one of, like it made the memory even more special just to see that, hey, like look how far we've come from when we, we first came to, to Route 91 two years ago. But unfortunately, by the end of the weekend, things really took a, a turn for the worst. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. They're still shooting. They're still shooting. In the middle of Jason Aldean's set, there was kind of these, this popping noise that sounded like firecrackers, but some people around us were kind of like, what is that? You kind of hear this questioning. And so we were like a little like, hey, this is kind of weird. This seems kind of unexpected. And then once we saw people like dropping and like hitting, hitting the ground and like everybody laying down, then we realized like there's something way worse going on. When we were on the ground um, and just looking around and seeing everybody else on the ground and had heard some things and continued to hear this, these popping noises, uh, the music had completely stopped at that point. And yeah, I just remember thinking like, oh my goodness, like this is, like a shooting, like I was almost preparing myself, like what is it gonna feel like to get shot? When that thought first came in, I remember thinking, just being completely paralyzed with fear. I just didn't know what to do. And then in the back of my mind, I remember hearing just this, this voice that said, hey, you're gonna be okay, but you need to get Justine and everyone else out of there right now. And I knew like that, that was God. I, <laughs> Even though I couldn't really pray in that moment, I just felt his presence and I heard that and immediately the, the popping had stopped and I looked around, I found Justine, I found my best friend Liam and I said, hey, let's go. We need to get out of here, follow. Like we saw people running off to the side and we just booked it out of there. Thank God we were, we were able to do that. We got away without, and no one got hurt. For the, the first couple of weeks after the event, I had a very negative outlook on life. I was just had kind of lost trust in humanity. I, just after seeing such an evil act committed, just for no reason, for no apparent reason at all, and just to see how many lives were lost and changed forever, kind of wanted to just stay away from people. Uh, but thankfully, during those weeks, uh, I was able to get plugged in with a therapist right away. Uh, and the other just really interesting thing was uh, when I came back, uh, at Loma Linda during our second year, we have uh, religion courses. And the course I was in was uh, God and human suffering. Sitting down and reading through biblical passages, reading through other religious beliefs about why they're suffering in the world, what purpose, if any, does it serve. And from the two aspects of getting professional therapy, but then also having this, this class, was so helpful to me um, just to continue that healing process and I don't think that would have happened if I wasn't at Loma Linda.